Your body is a dynamic thing. A mysterious, beautiful, dynamic thing. We put our bodies through many different activities in a day. Everything we do, no matter how stationary or active, depends on the ability to transport things to all the different parts of our body. We need nutrients for our body's energy demands. We need to remove the waste that our bodies produce. Like the roads or highways of a city, we are wired with a sprawling network of blood vessels that provides the transportation grid we need to power our bodies. Just as we build new roads to service a new subdivision, the human body can sprout new branches from its circulatory highway. This brings more blood where it's needed. It is especially important for our body's natural healing and could be used to increase healing after certain injuries. But, like many brilliant features of human biology, it can also be hijacked by scoundrels. Here at the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, we use the tools of cellular biology to understand how our bodies coordinate their molecular construction crews to build these highways. We call this process angiogenesis. This is still a mystery in the human body that we are working to figure out. If we look closely, our bodies are full of many organs that have many different jobs. And our circulatory system is the transportation network that carries nutrients and removes waste to and from these organs. If we look even closer, we see that our organs are really large structures made up of many smaller pieces that we know of as cells. These cells all work together like a team to do whatever it is that organ does. Blood vessels are also made up of many cells. It's here that we can watch these cells performing the miracle of angiogenesis. When the conditions aren't quite right, like when one part of the body needs oxygen, cells inside the blood vessels will get the message that it's time to sprout. This message arrives to the cell as a tiny molecule. Once the message is received, one of our crew members, Jack, tells his supervisor, Stat, no, not Stan, Stat, who heads immediately for the nucleus, the headquarters of the cell. In the headquarters, just the right combination of genes are turned on to rally the construction crews to start sprouting. While this is important for bringing blood supplies exactly where they are needed, sometimes the message being sent is coming from a deceptive cancer mass. Cancer can hijack the system to pave new blood vessel networks right to its front door. This can have grave consequences for the body as it will allow the cancer to grow. Although that may sound dire, the research we do now will shed light on how angiogenesis works and may help turn the lights out on cancer. <laughs>